You clicked on this video probably for one of these three reasons. One, you want to learn how to gaslight someone. Two, you want to know what gaslighting looks like. And three, you want to know if you're being gaslighted. So let me introduce you to how to gaslight someone 101. Sometimes when you want to visit a very dark topic and you want to investigate the what and the whys, you have to go into the mind of the perpetrator. You have to go into the mind of the abuser and see it from their point. Now I did this in when I started analyzing the psychological profiles of sexual and physical abusers along with emotional manipulation in my videos of Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Larry Nasser. I will link them below. Now for you who are thinking Olympia, this is not good. Why would you show someone how to gaslight? My dear folks, gaslighters, harsh truth time, they know what they're doing. They already know all this stuff. So for a gaslighter watching this, this is pretty much their preview of their life. But for you who are being gaslighted, this is me trying to shed some light on a very, very dark topic. So let's see what a gaslighter looks like and see if someone left the gaslight on. First of all, let me introduce you to my gaslighting friend. Hey victims. Gaslighting 101. First rule, what do we do gaslighters? We lie, lie, lie. Like my beloved Dr. House says, I love that guy. It's the basic truth of the human condition that everybody lies. So if you want to be a gaslighter, you're going to have to learn to lie your ass off. You're going to have to learn to twist, manipulate, basically make the truth your own. And if someone is, is questioning their reality and their sanity, you're on the right track. Now, whether this uh, means exaggerating, minimizing, um, taking things out of context, uh, invalidating a person's feelings, whatever you have to do to make a person question their own version of reality, you're doing it right. That's what gaslighting is. The second sign is deny, deny, deny. So whatever happened, whatever the truth is, whatever actually occurred between an argument in a relationship in the workplace. By the way, I've also done a video on gaslighting at work. Make sure to check it out. I will link it below. But whatever happened, you're going to have to learn to deny everything and make it work in your advantage. And after denying all this and basically creating a scenario that pretty much fits what you need and to control that person, next step, if you take them away from their family and their friends, ah, oh, you're golden. Then you definitely have a control and throw in their sabotaging our relationship and you're set. Do something that is called the push pull technique or the attack retreat. So in the beginning, a gaslighter, and I guess I now have to go back into my gaslighting uh, persona. So in the beginning, we gaslighters, uh, we love to charm people's asses off. We are suave. We are romantic. We do big gestures. We make people make people think that whatever they're feeling is from a movie, from a fairy tale. And then you start planting those seeds of doubt very carefully, patiently. It's all about patience, guys. It's all about consistency and patience. You can't make someone um, question their own sanity from one day to the next because they're going to be like, hell no. But if you do it gradually and build up that trust, you've got them. So once you've done that, you start throwing little gifts at them, make little surprises. But once they don't act your way, then that's when you retreat. That's when you make the person feel withdrawal because suddenly you're taking away all the good stuff that you did for them. And the other person was wondering, well, what did I do wrong? Maybe he, she is right. It's kind of cool, isn't it? The third thing gaslighters love to do is they will twist a situation. They will deny a situation. They will lie in a situation, but they will also question and turn your words against you. What do I mean? I'm probably going to hear a lot about this in the comments. I'm not for Trump. I, the gaslighter, know that. I don't agree with Trump's ideology, but I'm wearing this hat, right? I know what this hat represents. I know what it symbolizes. I know the debates, the feelings, the emotions, the political 
dynamics that have gone into creating this phrase, this hat. But when I confront a person, when I'm talking to that person and that person starts questioning this hat, my reaction is going to go something like this. What are you talking about? I'm not pro-Trump. Why would you say that? Excuse me, what kind of uh, indication or right do you have in order to question my beliefs? Do you see anything on me that would actually make you think that? I'm sorry, are you crazy? I think you're overreacting. You are wearing the hat, right? You know, you know that what you're doing is a lie. You know that it's denial and it's in its greatest essence. But your job is to make the other person question their reality. And this is where the other gaslighting hit point is. That if you actually call them out on a flaw or something that they're not good at, they will lash out excuse me, we will lash out aggressively. I really have to get into the gaslighter mode. Sorry, guys. Uh, you, We really like to lash out. We really like to make sure that the other person understands fully correctly with any mean that what they're saying is not true. So what is the best way to validate your point? Aside from making the person feel like they're going crazy, especially in the beginning. Triangulation. We need to bring someone else in. The gaslighter needs to bring someone else in in order to verify their point. Because what better way to make the other person feel crazy than if I bring someone else that also shows them that they're crazy. Power of the group. So the other person is like, well, if this person sees it and the other person that's standing next to them sees it, it must be true. Now, of course, gaslighting um, puts in a huge emotional and psychological strain on you. You don't know what's real. You are completely overwhelmed, which is why I've created a little freebie for you guys. I will link it below. Um, make sure to visit my website on six ways to underwhelm when you're overwhelmed. Everything backed up by science, of course. And honestly, I really hope it helps you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Make sure to check out my other videos on codependency, little brain farts that we all have. Uh, don't forget, if you like what I said, subtext of this video, by the way, uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button, ring that bell so you guys get your weekly Thursday videos. <laughs> Give me a huge thumbs up to make mom argue than love me. But most importantly, guys, share this video with someone who needs to know what a gaslighter looks like. And that's it, folks.